Hi, I'm Mitch McKinley, and this is my new show, The Stitch with Mitch, where we're going to be talking about the different things that are going on in our community of Garden City. Today I have with me Rosemary Corbett, a local member of the Kansas Honor Flight Board, who's going to be talking to me about the upcoming fundraiser this Saturday. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Thank you good for morning. Coming. Glad to be here. Uh, so could you tell me a little bit about what's going to be going on this Saturday and maybe where it is? All right. It is at the exhibition building down at the Finney County Fairgrounds, the largest, tallest building and the Finney County 4-H'ers, this is the mm -hmm. seventh year that they have joined together to put on this fundraiser specifically okay. for Kansas Honor Flight. Mm -hmm. And we will begin with the opening ceremony at 11 o'clock with the high school JROTC color guard. And then we will uh, have Darby Reimer, a young lady that will be singing our national anthem and then we will uh, introduce the veterans mm -hmm. that have gone on the flight and then do a general recognition of any veterans that are there. Oh, okay, wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I understand that there's going to be a lot of different fundraising opportunities. What, what are you guys doing to raise money there? Uh, okay. A silent auction, a live auction? Yes, we have a pretty large silent auction usually. Mm -hmm. And this is the first year we're going to try a small live auction. We have about eight items, I think, that mm -hmm. we've decided to use. And that will be at 1 o'clock. And then um, we also are selling um, these bracelets. Uh, mm -hmm. The Wichita volunteers started selling these last summer for $5 a piece, and they've raised $11,000 so far. Mm -hmm. So they're really popular there, so we thought yeah. we'd try to sell them here. Uh, so you mentioned the uh, Wichita chapter, the mm -hmm. Kansas Honor Flight. You were telling me that there are several different uh, hubs mm -hmm. around the state. Yes, we are linked to the National Honor Flight Network, mm -hmm. and there are eight, I believe, hubs in the state of Kansas. Oh. We are the largest, most active one. And uh, the other ones are usually schools, mm -hmm. and they fundraise throughout the year, and then they'll take one flight right. in the spring. Whereas most of the um, Garden Cities comes from this main fundraising event that's going to be going on this Saturday? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what got you into working with the Kansas Honor Flight Fundraiser? How did you get involved with well, the Well, I had a very wonderful father who was a World War II veteran, mm -hmm. Martin Hushka, and he um, was a Battle of the Bulge survivor. And in 2011, April of 2011, mm -hmm. I was his escort on the trip, the honor flight trip. It was a different board mm -hmm. organization that was doing this at the time. The current one that I am on, Kansas Honor Flight, we began in May of 2012. Okay. But I went with my dad, and it meant so much to those guys that um, when our new board formed in May of 2012, they asked me to join. I said, of course. I just love it. Wow, that's great. Uh, you were telling me some of the statistics about how many um, veterans have been able to go on the honor flight. Uh, could you just... Yeah, well, I have all kinds of statistics. <laughs> I, there are 47 from Finney County, Garden City area, one from Holcomb, okay. <laughs> that have gone on the trip. Um, that's ranging from World War II to Vietnam. We started taking Vietnam veterans, Vietnam War veterans last spring. Oh, okay. um, last year in itself, we took 383 veterans, and since our inception in May of 2012, we have taken 511 World War II veterans, 560 Korean War, 239 Vietnam War, for a total of 1,310. 13, 1, that, that's just amazing <laughs> to me. That's just amazing that yeah. so many uh, veterans have gotten to go. and just be able to see their memorials in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. that, that, that must have meant a lot to them. Yes, it, it does. Um, each trip is, has a different dynamic, mm -hmm. and it means different things to different people, but they are so appreciative. The Vietnam veterans really are appreciative, which all of them are, but right. um, it means a lot to them. That's, that's nice. Um, 
So 4-H is involved quite mm -hmm. a bit with the Honor Flight Fundraiser, correct? Yeah. Yes, they are putting it on. I mean, oh, okay. they put it on, I just kind of ramrod and took <laughs> So um, how much has gone into uh, preparations for the fundraiser? Okay, we have uh, Barb Hoyt that volunteers to get the cornbread made. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who her crew is that does all that. Um, Taylor Canelli, the ag or the 4-H agent here in the county, mm -hmm. she uh, organizes the 4-H families. So everyone from the little ones to the adults, they all are asked to um, contribute time and baked goods mm -hmm. for the uh, baked goods sale, which I didn't mention. Okay. Um, and the they do all the serving, cleanup. Mm -hmm. uh, so if someone wanted to go, would mm -hmm. they need to buy a ticket there or? You may buy a ticket there. The 4-H'ers are selling tickets. Okay. The, we ta ask for a suggestion of $5. Mm -hmm. So if you get chili. Uh, some vegetables, a dessert, hand, homemade dessert, and a drink. Wow, that's a pretty good deal for $5. Pretty good deal. Uh, how might someone be able to contribute to the Honor Flight year-round? Is there a, what, where do we go? If you we want to be go able to, to the website, okay. kansashonorflight.org, and mm -hmm. you are able to do that through PayPal. Um, the address for our treasurer who lives in Hutchinson's P.O. Box 2371, mm -hmm. Hutchinson, Kansas. And I'm going to butcher the zip code. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. Okay. Um, how if we weren't a member of 4-H, but we wanted to get involved mm -hmm. with um, volunteering for the Honor Flight, mm -hmm. how might someone go about doing that? Just give me a call. Give you a call. Great. Yeah. Uh, my phone number's on the website. Um, I have... Uh, I have business cards at Garden Pharmacy. They have mm -hmm. a little entryway there, and I have a little flyer. Okay. <laughs> so. um, I think that's all I have to ask you. So uh, thank okay. you again so much for coming. You are welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Uh, I'm Mitch McKinley, and this has been The Stitch with Mitch. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.